What's up, YouTube? It's Coach Corey. Brawl Stars is a great game, but I want to talk about how to improve every single game mode. So, let's get into it. Alright, so if you guys remember, about starting two weeks ago, I started doing polls about once a day, asking your opinion on every single game mode, having you rank it from one to five. One being hate it, two being it's pretty bad, three being it's okay, four being it's pretty good, and five being love it. Now, if you want to participate in these polls or future polls, you have to be subscribed. That's the only way you can do polls. But let's talk about each game mode. First of all, I just gotta say, I love doing polls like this. I always think it's really interesting to get the community opinion on what everyone thinks. And there were some surprises definitely about these polls and which game modes you guys liked the most and the least. So let's talk about each game mode. And I wanna keep these polls in mind and use them as a reference point. And we'll briefly talk about maybe how we can improve every game mode in Brawl Stars. Now when I talk about Robo Rumble and Boss Fight, those are sort of going to be separately included as far as, you know, what's the most liked, what's the least liked. Alright, let's start out with the most liked game mode in Brawl Stars. Now, I don't think this was a surprise which game mode this was. If there was a surprise, it was how much people loved it and by far how it was the favorite game mode in Brawl Stars. And that's Duo Showdown. You guys completely love Duo Showdown. Over 50% of you voted that you love Duo Showdown. That is amazing. And to me, that means there's really not a lot to be done or that needs to be done to improve Duo Showdown. This is by far the most liked game mode and the least hated. Only 3% of you said you hate it, and only 3% said it was pretty bad. So at the least, almost everyone thinks it's at least okay or they really like it or they love it so that's pretty dang good if there was anything to gripe about in duo showdown it's that well this doesn't really happen that often so it's not that big of a deal but it is still possible and it does still happen where other teams team up with each other and that's obviously not how you would hope the showdown or that mode would be played is you're already on a team you really don't need the team with another team it sort of takes away from the element of the game mode. but i don't want to grab too much this really doesn't happen that often i rarely see it it does happen but not that often overall this is a really great game mode all right now for the second favorite game mode in brawl stars at least based on the polls i would say it is there are game modes that people love more but there's no other game mode that people like more, and that's Gem Grab. 22% of you said you love it, and 44% of you said it's pretty good. That's really high. So about two-thirds of people at least like Gem Grab. It's also, besides Duo Showdown, it's the least hated as far as either you don't like it or you hate it. So that's pretty dang good. But I would say there are some things that could be improved in gem grab for brawl stars one of the problems for me in gem grab and brawl stars is if you're playing with randoms it can definitely be frustrating your team comp in gem grab is very very important so if you're playing with randoms and you get matched with a really horrible team comp you can almost guarantee you probably lost that match unless it's low trophy where anything can happen but if you're anywhere high trophy you're playing with a random team comp and you can just easily get matched with a really bad team comp and it can definitely make the game a little bit more frustrating as you're losing for reasons that are really sort of outside of your control. If there was some way to either have better matchmaking where say you're looking, say you're a Poco and you're doing random matchmaking, say hey I'm looking for two like specific type of brawlers like aggro, brawler, aggro brawlers or maybe a support brawler. Some sort of way to make it easier to have matchmaking for randoms would be a really good way to improve gem grab and brawl stars. Now let's go into the third favorite game mode in brawl stars as voted by you guys. It's Showdown. Now this isn't really a surprise with Duo Showdown as the top one. Showdown is also really popular. 29% of you said you love it and 33% said it's pretty good and only 7% hated it and 7% thought it was pretty bad. So those are definitely really good stats as far as whether a game mode is doing well. But I think the one gripe about Showdown is pretty obvious. It's teaming. Teaming can be either 
big against showdown or maybe a small benefit it's definitely changes up how showdown you think it would be played and at the least it's played pretty differently at the lower trophy levels than it is at the higher trophy levels teaming is required to win pretty much at the higher trophy levels and it really changes how you play showdown if there was any graph about showdown it's teaming now as far as how to improve showdown in regards to that well i don't really know if there's a great solution to teaming I feel like Supercell's solution to teaming was basically introducing duo showdown where there's definitely less teaming as you're already on a team but as far as improving showdown in that regard I'm not quite sure so if you guys have any good suggestions for that definitely put it down below in the comments now for the fourth favorite game mode in Brawl Stars it's Brawl Ball now I found this one interesting because more of you love Brawl Ball than like Brawl Ball. I do feel like Brawl Ball, there's definitely very hardcore fans of Brawl Ball, where some people either really like it, and some people just really don't. And that definitely shows in the polls. I definitely think there's a couple things you could improve with Brawl Ball. I'm not quite exactly sure the best way to do it. Of course, there is one of them, which is a similar problem to gem grab and that your team comp is very important in Brawl Ball. So going in with randoms can definitely be frustrating. If there was some way to improve matchmaking for randoms, either way you're facing randoms more often or you can help choose your team comp even if you're random a little bit more carefully, that would be a really good way to improve Brawl Ball. Let's say a couple other gripes I have with Brawl Ball. Well, definitely one of them that to me has the biggest negative impact on the game for Brawl Ball is being able to just corner the ball in your own corner of the map and make it really hard for the enemy team to score. This is a really good defensive tactic as you can spawn next to your ball and be invincible and it makes it really difficult for the enemy team to score and the main way they're able to overcome that is if they get lucky and you don't spawn by the ball. To me this just really slows down the game, it makes it really boring and it's really difficult to overcome. There needs to be a solution to this tactic if Brawl Ball has become an even more well-liked mode. But again, I'm not exactly sure how to fix this problem. How do you stop people from cornering the ball near their goal if they have a lead and they're in a really dire situation? So if you guys have any ideas, definitely comment them down below because I would love to hear what you think. All right, and now for the fifth most liked game mode in Brawl Stars, it's heist. This one kind of surprised me. I thought it was interesting to see. Basically, the majority of you thought it was either okay or pretty good. Not a lot of you loved it. Not a lot of you hated it. And to me, I can totally understand this. Now, heist did just recently change. It used to just have one safe, and there was one team that was attacking and one team that was defending. Now, there's two safes, and both teams have to do both. So, it's a totally different game mode. To me, one of the things that makes Heist sort of okay and not great is there's not much team comp diversity. I feel like whatever map you're on, there's basically a clear top three, four, or five brawlers you want to play on that map. Almost always, it's probably a top five for every single map that you're almost always going to want to play those brawlers as they are by far the best in Heist and on those maps. So I'm not exactly sure what the best way to change it is, whether changing the map slightly to make the team comp a little better or just making new heist maps where different brawlers are good on heist. I think that would be a good way to fix it. Probably maybe make some heist maps that are a little bit more like bounty. I think it could totally change how you defend and how you attack. Also, honestly, besides GG Corral, the other three heist maps all feel really similar as far as the gameplay you have. So I definitely think new maps for Heist that are change up the brawl as you play would be a good way to improve Heist. All right, now for the least liked game mode in Brawl Stars. If you haven't figured it out, it's Bounty. Almost half of you think Bounty is just okay. And I'm with you, and at least 10% of you either hate it or think it's pretty bad as well. So Bounty, definitely the least favorite game mode in Brawl Stars by a good amount. And personally, I can understand why. Although the gameplay is different towards the top of ladder and the bottom of ladder. At the top of ladder, the gameplay is really slow and boring and I really don't like it. Basically, whenever someone gets hit, they go, oh no, I took damage. 
Time to go heal. And they all just go hide up and wait for 10 seconds or whatever it takes until they heal up and then they go back out and start shooting. So you end up with a lot of games at the top of ladder where there's just not many kills and it's just pretty boring. Now at the bottom of the ladder, this isn't exactly true. It's a lot more fast paced, but I do think there's a similar problem, just not to the same scale. It tends to be a bit of a slow paced game mode where it just doesn't totally feel as satisfying in my opinion. That doesn't mean there aren't people who like Bounty. There definitely are 13% love it and 20% think it's pretty good. So there's definitely people who like Bounty, but overall the majority of people think it's really just okay. So I have some suggestions in mind to help improve Bounty. All right, so to me, the way you improve Bounty, listen to this. All right, so you know that star at the beginning of the game that starts, if your team gets it, you get one point for your team. So that star is always there at the beginning of the game. My suggestion is every minute, starting at 30 seconds, you add a star back. So that star respawns every minute. So there's an additional potential two stars in a game. Now, this doesn't seem like a really big change, and I don't want it to be because frankly, if you add too many of those stars, it starts getting really similar to gem grab. But it's a small change to bounty that I think could help change the pacing of the game because now you're not gonna have teams that are either just camping in their spawn and being really far back. Now they can go up and get that additional one point. Now it's not a really big amount of points that would change the amount of points in a game. So if your team is really killing it, you maybe you don't need to worry about it. You let that team have that start. But if your team is behind, go, hey, okay, you know what? We're going to push them back, running down a little bit. We're going to get that star in the middle, and then we just need another couple kill or two. And it can have a small impact on the game. The main point of it, though, is to make people want to be a little bit closer to each other and keep the action more flowing and more continuing on. So if you choose to be really passive, you're going to get that small negative by not getting that star in the middle. So it would respawn at 30 seconds and 90 seconds. So it wouldn't spawn more than additional two times. So it'd be a max of three stars in the game. The one at the start of the game, and then at 30 seconds, and then at 90 seconds. Now you could change this, maybe 30 seconds is too soon. Maybe you go at one minute mark and at two minute mark, it could be something like that. But that's my suggestion for Bounty. All right, now let's talk about the special events, Boss Fight and Robo Rumble. Let's start out with Boss Fight. All right, so Boss Fight, honestly, it's a pretty similar poll result to Bounty, a little bit more favorable. And I'll say this, looking at your guys' comments on this poll, there was one clear gripe comparing Boss Fight and Robo Rumble. It's that Boss Fight was just so much less keys compared to Robo Rumble. So whenever Boss Fight came up, people just felt inclined to save their tickets because let's face it, who doesn't want a max account? You want to get more keys. And it's clear that Robo Rumble is easier to get higher keys than Boss Fight. That was definitely the most frequent comment on this poll. And honestly, I totally get it. I understand. So one of my suggestions to improve Boss Fight would be just to make the keys a lot more similar to Robo Rumble. Make it easier to get max keys. But whatever that max time is, to get 32 keys, it should be much easier to get. Because right now it feels like you get easily 20 or 18 to 26 keys per time whenever you play boss fight. Now that's using one ticket, but that just doesn't feel that rewarding compared to getting like 26 to 32 keys in Robo Rumble every time. So, I think they need to change that at the least. Now the other thing I would say about boss fight is while it is really, really fun when you're the boss, it tends to not be that fun when you're not the boss, especially when you really wanna be the boss and then you're not the boss for, oh, I don't know, 10 or 15 times in a row. So there needs to be a better way to do that, whether it's something like in the box when you're opening box there's that luck factor maybe there's some sort of luck factor as far as getting the boss so you're much more likely to get it every one fifth time i don't know if that's possible but if it is that would be a great way to make it a little bit more balanced as far as how often you're enjoying boss fight but otherwise i'm honestly not sure there's a great way to fix this besides maybe i think this could work is making it less 
players in boss fight. Let's say, for instance, you're only facing four enemies and there's one boss. So it's four versus one instead of five versus one. This would improve your chances at being boss every single time. Now, this would require some balance changes to boss fight. Maybe the boss would need, you know, a fifth less health or something like that. Maybe the maps need to be a little bit smaller so he's, the boss is interacting with people, you know, just as frequently, something like that. But this could be a low-key good change to boss fight to make it easier to be the boss and be a little bit more rewarding and less annoying as frequently for not being the boss. And now for the last game mode and the last special event, Robo Rumble. Now I did this poll actually before the new change to Robo Rumble, but I did do another poll afterwards asking you guys your new opinion on it. I didn't ask you to re-rank it one through five, just whether you liked it more, less, or the same. So we'll go over both of those polls, but let's start out with the older one, because I still think it's relevant, especially when you look at the new poll as well. Looking at the old one, Robo Rumble was actually the second favorite game mode in Brawl Stars, the second most loved, with 34% of you loving it, and really not many of you not even liking it. 5% hating it, 7% thinking it's boring. I think one of the really great things about Robo Rumble is you can get a lot of keys and that just feels really rewarding. The other thing it is totally different, so that's really fun too. But there are still some ways I think Robo Rumble could be improved. First off, now this is this point is actually a little bit less true now with the new changes, but I think the first, you know, 2 to maybe 3 minutes can be kind of boring in Robo Rumble. In Robo Rumble, the goal is to spend at least 6 minutes and 15 seconds every single time in Robo Rumble. That's max keys. So the goal is to be spending a good amount of time every time you play Robo Rumble. So those first beginning moments can be kind of boring and Robo Rumble can tend to be a bit of a grind if you want to spend a lot of tickets and a lot of time on Robo Rumble. It tends to get pretty repetitive, but I do want to say the new changes to Robo Rumble definitely help it become less repetitive as the map is different every single time. And just personally, I gotta say, I really like the new Robo Rumble. All right, so real quick, let's look at this poll, the new poll I did asking your new opinion on Robo Rumble. So I asked you if you liked it more, less, or the same. And I also asked you to, to vote if you were a new Android player, you hadn't played the old one. So actually there's about a third of you were the new people. So we're just gonna take those out. So taking those out, about half of you said you like the new Robo Rumble more, only about a fourth said you like it less, and a fourth like it the same. So at the least, it seems like the new Robo Rumble is even better. So Robo Rumble definitely one of the favorite game modes right now, and I honestly have to agree. Well, I do think there could be some frustration in the new Robo Rumble in that, well, getting the top time each week is gonna depend a lot on luck as far as what the map spawn is. And then, I don't know if you guys have heard me say this, but in all my Robo Rumble videos, I do tend to say that how many chargers you get, and this goes into my next point, is really dependent on what kind of time you get. Chargers have the biggest impact on your time as far as, and by the way, a charger robot are those big melee guys after five minutes that charge you like a bull. I call those chargers. If you get a lot of those, they completely kill your time as they have way too much health and they just disrupt you and they're really hard to kill as you can't constantly aim in the same place and it's hard for them to group up. They don't group up because they just keep charging at different intervals and they're in different areas of the map and they just have so much freaking health. So this is my second point on how to improve Robo Rumble. Chargers need to be nerfed. They impact the game way too much. It was a good change to add a little bit of team comp variety in Robo Rumble. It caused tanks to start being used more because those guys destroy those low health brawlers on your team if you're not careful. So tanks are, you know, there's a little bit more team comp variety in Robo Rumble now, but chargers are just the biggest impact on the game by far. They just have too much health, in my opinion. So they need to be nerfed in some way. Either you need to make them charge less often. Actually, I would combine this. I'd make them charge less often and I would give them about 2000 less health or something like that because if you just get too many chargers, you lose. There's no way around it. Chargers have way too much health, and if you want the best time in Robo Rumble, it's really dependent on how many chargers you get, and that just really shouldn't be the case. All right, guys, so that's it for my state of the game video. Those are my ideas on how to improve each game mode in Brawl Stars, but let me know what you think. I would be really interested to hear what ideas you guys have for how to improve Brawl Stars. 
Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you later.